master daily time frame and you'll thank me later. The reason why I keep saying that a uh, daily time frame can give you a hands up is because you can imagine one daily candle is six candles of four hour. What do I mean by that? Let's say here you have a daily candle, a bearish red candle. Uh, this means in 24 hours, this is what you have maybe uh, the daily has given you after 24 hours. It means when you go to four hour time frame, this one candle is six candles that can either be six red candles or, or three red, one green. Uh, four hour has a lot of data. You can even have something like that on four hour, like that. So you have three uh, red candles, then one big bullish candle, and then all of a sudden you have a bearish candle like that. So for our data, sometimes it may bring confusion because you are not, you are wondering why did, did, did the market even buy in the first place? So in four hours, you might have a support that is broken. That is a support that is broken. But when it comes to daily, it's only one candle. So those are some of the, the, the benefits of uh, dealing with daily time frame is that you don't have too much data. You won't even know that bullish were attempting to come into the market. So if you are a busy person, you're working, or you are not able to stay on the laptop for a long time, I feel daily time frame would work for you best because once you understand how to how to work on it and what to use, what to expect, you just predict and then you react once the market do exactly how you predicted you're good to go. So for me, I would highly suggest that if you are that person who you are beginning, you will pick daily as your high time frame to either give you a hands up or try to, you see how people are so afraid of entering the market. It's because they are not even sure what to expect, what to look for. And that's why I'm doing this video. So daily time frame, uh, this is what it means. So if you, if I have, you can imagine if I have two daily candles like that, it means I will have 12 four hour candles. You can imagine, I just need to see the first daily, let's say Monday was a red candle, Tuesday was a red candle. But if I go to analyze this data on four hour, I have 12 candles to deal with. You see how what I'm saying, like you might see um, a rejection candle like this and you will try to think the market has rejected. But this, the same candle is six candles on four hour, which can give you so much data that you're even wondering now, what do I do after this? That's why sometimes I tell people, if you find yourself, you're struggling with analysis, daily time frame can work on you. Before I forget, this is my number. If you want anything this is where you this is the number you use to communicate to me don't use another number guys because there are scammers out there and they are out for your money I, I don't think there is a day that passes without someone complaining to me oh I was talking with you on TikTok I was talking with you on Facebook I have sent you money me I don't ask people for money and I don't inbox people for only reason why we would even talk about money is the cost that I sell. And the cost is available. It's 12 modules, 10 profitable strategies that is $1,000. You can opt to buy one strategy that is $100 or you buy the full package that is $1,000. So don't fall on those commas. And I will do this on all my videos because if this case, imagine someone is scammed, let's say $10,000 and they believe it's me. I will have, you know, when you go to, let's say it escalates and it goes to the court uh, and you ask, did you want people? At least I have evidence and I will tell the court every video uh, since August, I started to warn people and that's how I would warn people for these cameras. So kindly don't think I'm here trying to advertise my course if I am, I, I can just keep quiet and just teach. So don't, don't feel bad in the comment section saying, oh, your work is to advertise your course. If I want people, I'm bad. If I don't want people, I'm bad. Anyway, that being said, let's get into the detail. The, the course of today, the, the training of today, the video of today is how do you master daily time frame? So I want you guys, let me delete everything. I want you guys to focus 
on your chart. The first thing that we have to ask ourselves that this is a market that is going on an uptrend. This is our daily time frame, but you can see the daily time frame is making high highs and high lows. So this market automatically is on an uptrend. And the minute I am looking for a buy or a sell, for me to sell this market, it will be a very hard thing to do because the market is a very good uptrend and buyers are in control. When the market is on an uptrend, buyers are in control. So what I will do, I will come and start marking my zone. Number one thing I will notice on this chart, and I'm telling you how people see, people will see different things. So there's someone who will start looking for a buy entry immediately because they are thinking the market has broken this resistance. You can see this is a resistance broken and the majority will start looking for entries, for buy entries because they are thinking this is a retracement and retracement is done. That is category one. So A people we look for buy immediately because they are thinking um, buy, they are thinking uh, retest is over. You see, retest is over and they have to look for buy opportunity. For me, I'm thinking uh, what if they give me a pattern because when I trade like this, uh, break and retest, this is a break and retest strategy. For me, it didn't work for me. You see, break and retest strategies where you have a resistance like that and the market breaks this resistance, come and retest it and it continues to go up. So if I have a breaking, let's say the market has broken that resistance and it continues to go up, I'll be waiting for the market to start coming down to retest with a red candle or sellers coming and immediately the market will reject that area and start going up. I won't lie to you, this strategy, it's not easy because you don't know the exhaustion of a retest. You don't know how far the market will retest. So it's like a guesswork. It really works. But to for you to be accurate, like this is the end of retracement, hey, you have to you have to up, up your game. So for me, I don't use that. But uh, students A or traders A will use that as the strategy. So for me, what I use are patterns. So one thing I will come to see is that what if the market comes to this level and it will make a double bottom? You see, I'm thinking out loud where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking if the market comes to this area, I feel like I can start concentrating with this. If the market comes to this a double bottom because this is our first attempt. If they come again, I will be hoping the market will give me a pattern that I can use. And before that, I will first go to the weekly time frame and look. The market doesn't have that double bottom. You can see these are two green candles, weekly green candles, and the market has not activated. Uh, it don't have a support. So I'll be so sure that this is a double bottom that is OPT. So this, this me now, when I come to the daily, I'm not minding, oh, will I sell? I cannot sell. The reason why I'm not selling is because of the uptrend, guys. That is what is keeping me away from selling. But you see, there are majority of people who will be looking for sell. They, they want this support to break. Can you see? They want this support to break so that they can sell. So they, would, they will be waiting for that support to break so that they can sell. And when this support breaks uh, for them, they are thinking, I will be waiting for that support to break so that I can sell up to that area. So that is uh, B people. The B traders, the B traders, they are, they are wait, support, break. For, and they will look for sale. So these are people who don't even mind going against the market, they're just there because they are so those traders who sell. And for me, I'm looking now, the, the C trader, and imagine all of these people, we, you are trading against each other. Obviously, there's someone who will win in this game. And that's why we have the winners and the losers. There's someone who will be looking for that double, the double bottom to be activated. You see, so there's someone who will be looking for that double bottom to be activated. And then there's the last person who will see this as a head and shoulder. So for me, I will come because I love patterns. I will see that should be my neckline. And this is my shoulders. 
and this is my head. So I'll be so convinced that this market, not only it's selling here, I'll be so convinced it is selling up to here. So I have the, the, the fourth person. The fourth person is looking for a head and shoulder. So uh, D is D, head and shoulder pattern. So there is that uh, pattern. So you can imagine, and I have not even put the ICT guys. <laughs> I have not even put the moving average traders. I have not put the Fibonacci traders. All these people have their own strategy and the way they approach the market. So according to what you use, the only thing that can save you is what you use, can you use it multiple times and it gives you results? Because I'm not here to bash anyone who used any other strategy apart from the patterns and the and the strategy that I teach in my course, RBV, RWR, sell zones, buy zones, all those strategies that I teach. I'm not here to bash anyone, but I'm here to say, by the time you are saying this is the one, there are 10, 100, 1,000 other people that are saying, I think this is the one. So we are like in a push and tag, like pull and tag kind of a scenario. So in this case, what I can tell you guys is that for me, I would not even look for, even if I'm saying that this head and shoulder will come down, there are so many things that are making me not to sell because number one, uptrend, and number two, I will still wait for the activation here. So for the head and shoulder pattern, if the market sells up to here, I will, yes, I can look at it as a double bottom and still I can look at it as a head and shoulder. So let's continue to see what really happened. So you will be coming after a day. So once you come after a day, after 24 hours have ended, whoever was saying, I will buy retests, buy retest is over, they draw down. Whoever went, you know, there are people who just buy like endlessly, like they just buy. So if you bought because you're thinking the market will go up, you, you are, you are done. You're, you're just, you're just done. Like, you have lost. That's 185 pips. Your account is gone. And that's what I was saying. Number one person to just think they can buy because it's a retest, then that is a total ignorance. So number one, this one, it is done. It is done. You see? So that one is done. It's gone like that. Um, support break sell. So there's someone who will say we are selling. If they say they will sell up to the next support, they, they are making sense, but still selling there, wanting only 50 pips is dangerous. But if you say you will sell here now, you are too much because this is another area of rejection. So let's see what happened after that big red candle. The market continued to sell and you can see the market has not even activated our double bottom. So the market continued to sell. And after the third day, so the first day, the second day, so anyone who said, I will sell support break sell, they are correct. And the reason why they are correct, if they were selling up to the support zone. But that person who said, I will sell up to here, that one, now I don't know what they want. So you can imagine something uh, from a double, uh, something that from a, uh, a market you are thinking i want it to buy but you're thinking how do i buy so we have an activation of a double bottom we have to first understand we have two types of a double bottom i don't know if you guys you know that we have two types of double bottom number one it's a double bottom on uptrend and double bottom on a downtrend. So when I say double bottom on an uptrend, is this is what I mean. The market is buying very well. It's on an uptrend like that. And then it comes and gives us a double bottom. This is what we say, double bottom on a uptrend. And double bottoms on an uptrend are easy to buy because Double bottom supports buy. But when we talk of double bottom on downtrend, double bottom on downtrend are not easy to, to sell, uh, to buy 
Why? Because double bottom on downtrend, they are coming to interfere with the market. So here, you will have that double bottom. And because it's on a downtrend, you are trying to buy and the market is on a downtrend. The majority, the sellers are having it. So it is hard for this market. It can buy as a result of reversal, but it's a bit hard, it's a bit hard. So the double bottom on an uptrend, it is sometimes easy. And that's what we have here. This is an uptrend and we have a double bottom on an uptrend. You see? So when we have this double bottom on an uptrend, first we check on the weekly time frame. So if I check on the weekly time frame, I do not have that double bottom. It is OPT. So the only thing that now I need to, 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 to get is, is my half and my neckline. So I have my half there and I have my neckline. See guys, I have both my half and my neckline. Now, because I have my half and my neckline, um, I will be waiting for the strategy to form. The strategy of double bottom is WBB. And WBB means wait for the green candle, check if it's bullish angle. If not, put a box. This green candle is not a bullish angle. So what I will do, I'll come here and do what? And I put a box. Can you see? So here you are confident because number one, the market is an uptrend. That is it. In this double bottom on uptrend, we have seen double bottoms on uptrend are easy to trade. Number two, the double bottom is OPT. This double bottom is not on the weekly, okay? Number three, you already have a strategy to trade. You have a strategy to trade. You see, the double bottom is not the weekly. You have a WBB, we trade it on the daily weekly, on 4 ICRD. So I have said you have a trade. You are waiting for the first green candle. If it has not engulfed, you put a box. If it breaks, you enter by. So let's see what happens. Two candles and the third one. Imagine this is the third day. So you can imagine when you want to trade the daily time frame, patience is key. Because we were, we waited, we, we started analyzing this chart when it was here. So the first day, the market didn't activate our double bottom. So this is one, two, three, four, five. A whole week of us waiting for an entry. How many people are ready? <laughs> to wait for a whole week. And that's where the problem comes in. Because you, it is on a Monday, you want to trade, you want to enter the market and the market has not given you an entry. I think patience is what kills the majority of our accounts, even me included. I think patience is what majority of us are suffer. That's why we are not making the millions of dollars that we want to make. If only we were a little bit patient, we'd have made so much money. Because sometimes you will reach a place where you know everything, you know the strategies, but that patience, that patience is what now is lacking, guys. That patience is, is what is lacking. So how many pips are these? 90 pips. Imagine 90 pips. 90 pips. Even if you do a lot of one, that is $900, guys. $900. Oh, my goodness. And um, in a day, in a day, no retracement, zero retracement. If any, imagine these are the trades that we put a lot of ten. Imagine these are trades that you say, uh, I will trade with a lot of ten. And a lot of ten, you would have gained $90,000. $90,000, guys. Ten, lo ten lots. You would have gained how many? Ten thousand dollars. So in Kenya shillings, um, we are timesing by one thirty, because you'd have gained uh ninety pips times ten. Uh, you get nine thousand, not ninety. You get nine thousand, nine thousand dollars. Because lot of ten, lot of one is ten dollar per lot. Lot of ten is a hundred dollars. So you are getting 9,000. So I'm just curious to know, imagine in a day, imagine in a day, guys, that you had entered that trade, $9,000 times 130. 
you'd have made 1.17 million. And imagine that's where we are going, guys. That's where we are going. Don't think when we trade, um, when we trade, guys, what when we, we, we try to trade, uh, it's called what? We teach you guys and we have all this analysis. Now what we are building, we are building confidence to be entering the market um, with a bank. Imagine, 1.17 million. Imagine. And it's just patience of how many days? Patience of how many days? Five days. And then you're so patient and you're thinking, let me see what will happen. Will the market break half? And this market breaks half. Can you see the market has broken half? And you enter again. Hey, my goodness. You enter again. <laughs> and this time around, you say, I'm entering. See, I have the account. 215 pips. Oh, my God. Where was I? But then I will start trading GBP card. Where was I? I didn't see this trade. You want to tell me 215 pips? 215 pips? Oh, my God. 215. Sometimes when you do back testing, you just feel sad because you're thinking, where was I? 215 pips times 100. That is, ish. that is $21,000. And um, when I times by 130. Hey, so what you do in your currency, you just times with your currency and you see how much. If you are if you use dollars, you'd have made $21,000. And it's a trade that you would have holded one, two, three, four, five, six, six days. And you make $21,000. So if I do 21,500 times 130, that is 2.7 million. 2.7 95 million. So we add the we add the 1.7, the 1.17. Oh my god, do you know how much you'd have made in this trade? 3.96. If you're in Kenya, you'd have made 3.96 million. And that's what I'm saying, guys. Uh daily time frame, it in, it requires patience, and once it starts giving you the outcome, you would have made all this money. So the question I'm asking myself is, until when will we watch the market? Until when we will be keeping saying, oh, Forex has money. We start, we need to start making this money, guys. And I think I will start with you. I, I will start doing those crazy lots. Anyway, all the best. That's how you master. With a simple pattern, like a double bottom, there is patience involved. You don't just look for double bottoms and you start trading right away. There is patience involved. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something. All the best. Make a lot of money. Buy that car you want. Buy that house you want. Buy that land you want. But bottom line, you have to put work in this chart, in this forex. Okay. Bye-bye. Love you.